Assistant Secretary Morton, uh, I've been uh, concerned about the inadequate oversight of student uh, visa issuance and compliance. There have been numerous examples, as you know, of individuals violating the terms of their student visas, including the terrorists involved in the 1993 and 2001 World Trade Center attacks. Most recently, ICE disrupted visa fraud schemes in Florida and in California. We must do more to ensure that terrorists do not use our student visa process as a backdoor into our country. I think everyone agrees with that. My questions are, what is the department doing to ensure that these students are properly vetted prior to obtaining these visas? Do ICE uh, visa security unit personnel review student visa applications? And how is the department working with colleges and universities to ensure that students who receive the visas are showing up to class and meeting the, the visa requirements? And what is the department doing to ensure that these student visas, uh, the students don't overstay their visas? Um, um, first of all, uh, the, the basic sentiments that you expressed that we have to have integrity in our uh, student uh, and exchange programs, I, I completely agree. And as you noted, we spent a lot of time, uh, unfortunately, investigating and uncovering schools that are essentially visa fraud mills uh, on a fairly grand scale. And um, to sort of note your uh, basic concern and to tie it in a little bit with what Mr. Cleaver uh, was um, speaking about. From my perspective, it's both a national security risk, um, plus it's just basic good government. I mean, we, can't, we shouldn't have a system, uh, an immigration system, a student exchange system that is marked by lawlessness, uh, regardless of the national security concerns, that there is an importance in having integrity and credibility to what we do. Um, very quickly in response to your specific question. So we, we have our um, uh, CVIS program. We, we uh, have um, dedicated analysts. Uh, we are, we've got a great deal of room for improvement. We've come a long way. We work very closely with the academic community. Um, we are moving to a new uh, version of CVIS. Right now, we basically uh, track the certificate of eligibility, but not the student, him or herself. That's where we need to be, is focusing on the student, him or herself. So that's a big reform that's in the works. We're working with the academic community to get that done. Uh, I'm hope, hoping, but it's a knock on wood, um, uh, uh, hope that we'll be able to make some real progress on the technological front, that a lot of this is about the uh, changes that we need to make in terms of technology to get us to a student-specific monitoring and enforcement. We are, we're having weekly dumps um, of data now. Uh, we generate a lot of CVIS leads. Uh, one of the one of the beauties of the CVIS program is it's completely within uh, within uh, uh, ICE, and we uh, do generate a lot of leads. I don't want to suggest to you that we don't have uh, room for improvement. We do. We need to do it, both in terms of monitoring the individual applications from a civil immigration perspective. You're not going to school. You need to go home. But also from the visa fraud mills that you uh, mentioned that are a real problem. Uh, we have. Um, something on the order of 10,000 schools that uh, work with us through SEVA. Uh, so the number of schools is quite large. And then there's uh, another about 4,000 um, student and uh, exchange visitor programs that are sponsored by the State Department. We do screen some um, applications uh, overseas through the Visa Security Unit. Um, but we don't, uh, again, I don't want to suggest that it's 100 percent. We're not in every uh, embassy. And again, we have to prioritize those applications that we look at. We don't look at every single visa application. Okay, thank you.